What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, today, we're gonna be finishing the subframe. Um, but before we do, I just wanna wish everyone a Merry Christmas, and uh, it's the day after Christmas, but Merry Christmas, and um, make sure you go down, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and share. Uh, comment when you subscribe, and uh, I'll reply back to you in the comments. But yeah, guys, um, it seems like our last couple videos, we're doing okay. So let's boost these numbers up. Share, tell your friends, subscribe, and yeah, so let's get into the video. All right, guys, so before I started, uh, I have an air, I had a, all right, guys, so before I was trying to air chisel these out, um, I drilled out two of the centers. Let me grab them. Here's the centers right here. These were in there. So I basically just drilled out the rubber around them. And then um, now all I gotta do is just get these sleeves out. I gotta, I gotta drill these ones out, these front ones. Um, I tried air chiseling these ones out, but as you can see, it just started like mauling the, the sides, which it has like a chamfer on the top side, so it'll be okay. But I might have to just file that back down. But yeah, the air chisel wasn't working, so I went to the good old Harbor Freight bought a sawzall and some long bits some blades so yeah we're gonna get this done today because I've been procrastinating for the last week to get this done so let's get to it All right, now that we got those uh, inner bushings out, they were a pain. These, these front two ones were so hard to get out. Literally like, there's so much rubber on them. There's like, it's ridiculous. Those are a lot harder than the rear bigger two. But yeah, so now we're just gonna cut like a little slit and uh, try and get the, for housing out. I got the bushings out and the bushings just literally press in. Uh, they just literally slide in and out and then you put the metal, the inner, um, the inner cylinder in it. You got the diff out, burning away the old uh, rubber. They're just gonna pound them out. And then we got new ones of those. We get the diff in and then we can start putting the subframe back in the car. So yeah, if I missed anything, my GoPro died, so sorry. But uh, yeah, um, oh, if you ever wonder how to get the main diff bushing out, literally just do the same exact thing that you did to the subframe bushings to that and it should come right out. All right guys. So we got the diff bushings in for the side ears. Um, we got those in. We have everything else on the actual subframe in all the bushings in the subframe. 
all we have left is the rear main one re put the diff back into the subframe and then put the subframe back into the car which is exciting because then i can start working on front suspension and um, tearing off the rest of my interior and stuff we have a whole list of things but yeah so let's get this installed into the subframe All right guys, so we got that rear, that main rear diff bushing in. We have all the bushings in. I just cleared out underneath the car. We are going to put the subframe in right now. Um, I know this is kind of a longer video. I hope you guys like the longer videos. So again, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and like button um, so we can get the send in again. We're gonna full send next year, fresh car. It's gonna look sick. So yeah, let's get the subframe in. All right guys, so I just finished putting, we just finished putting the subframe into the car. Um, pretty much all I have left to do is just put the rotors back on and then the wheels. So um, at this point, I'm just gonna close out the video and then uh, we'll be moving on to something else soon. I've been working on this project, <laughs> this project for coilovers. It's kind of behind the scenes right now, but we're getting closer to it. So I can't wait to make that video for you guys. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and uh, I'll reply back to the comments down there. And we'll see you next time, guys.